Well, if you're ready, I guess we'll just uh, begin the interview. To begin, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Hi, I'm Simone. I'm a senior at Inlo High School. I've been participating in theater for about maybe since fifth grade. I don't know how many years that's been. I love to do musical theater. I plan on majoring it in the college next year. And yeah, outside of that, I love to do like adventure, adventurous things. I went skydiving for my 18th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What got you started in theater and singing and all of that? So I did my first musical in fifth grade at Powell. We did Annie and my um, theater teacher said that I should like get into it because I was originally a singer. And once I was casted as Annie and I realized that that was something that I wanted to do, um, I just kept doing it in middle school high school and I really like enjoyed combining music dance and acting all together what inspires you to like do musical theater and sing be in the arts if that makes sense I think the way I can connect with different cast members each show I get different cast members and it may seem like it's kind of weird because you're connecting with different people but I think it's just we all build this family and this bond as characters and that just motivates me to keep going, as well as having that feeling of being able to portray different people and connect and be able to express myself through through those characters that I become. Awesome. I loved how you described <laughs> kind of becoming another person. In the future, wh- what do you want to do? Because you said you like you would like to major in theater. And are, are you like planning to go on Broadway or what do you what do you <laughs> hope for? So I'm majoring in musical theater next year. I'm going to UNCG. I do hope to go to Broadway. I do hope to maybe potentially open my own business, a music business and something along those lines. But my goal is Broadway. That's awesome. I hope you make it. (laughs) And we can say we interviewed you. Um, So I'm guessing you've done like a lot of plays and everything. So what's your favorite cast or like, Sorry, I don't know the terminology, but like cast member you played and why? It's probably the recent one that I played, which was leading player in Pippin. It's because she taught me a lot about myself, not only like it wasn't me just going on stage and reciting the lines that I saw in the script. It was like I had to give 110 percent every performance because of how hard her character is. And she taught me so much about myself as a person. So that's probably my favorite character that I've played. I did theater when I was very little. It's yeah. always awesome to know how it can relate to real life, even yeah. though you're just pretending. Do you have a favorite show that you haven't performed in that you really want to perform in? Maybe Lion King. I've heard that show is amazing. Yeah, it is. Obviously, you won Triangle Rising Stars, which is amazing. We'll shift and talk a little bit about that. So did you know that you were going to win? Like, did you have the information that you're going to win before it was, like, announced to the public? No. The judges made that, like, decision right after, like, we all sung. Like, it was an intermission, and right at the intermission, the judges made the decision. Okay. And so what was that moment like when they, you know, said your name? Like, what was going through your head? Like, what were your thoughts? Like, what was happening, like, inside you? Well, there's actually, like, multiple videos of what happened. But I did end up, like, crying, which I didn't plan on crying. But all I remember is, like, screams and shouts and, like, congratulations. And it was just, like like, a really shocking moment. Like, I honestly don't know how I felt in the moment. I just knew that I was, like... I wouldn't say overwhelmed, but it was like a great, a great feeling. Yeah. Congratulations again. Thank you. Um, <laughs> going back in time before you won, what were you thinking about then? Because were you confident in how you performed? And how- well, we were with the the twenty finalists like throughout that whole week for about like the the rehearsal ranged from like eight hours to eleven hours sometimes, so. Um, I was with those 20 finalists for like a like a lot of my time and we've like we grew a family like we connected so much as like people and I think 
I wasn't really thinking, I don't think anyone was thinking about the competition during those rehearsals. We were just connecting as people and like enjoying the moment because we all love to do, we all enjoy theater and that's something that we all wanted to pursue, pursue later on in life. So I think we were just all thinking about while wow, we are getting this experience to be here and learn all together. And it was just like a, it wasn't a competition. I don't think during those moments, it was just like a bonding thing. That's great. Yeah, I heard, I saw a, a couple of people like post about it and like how much y'all bonded during that time. And so speaking of finalists, um, can you just talk a little bit about like the process of Triangle Rising Stars from like auditioning initially to like getting to finals, just like how that process uh, looked? So most of the time you can either audition, you hear it through your teacher or they have like a website. So with me, my theater teacher, Miss Thornton, she did email it to us, but I, I submit it individually. What you do is you submit a 32 cut bar of a song and then you usually have an introduction of your song, like your slate. And then you do this little short film of introducing yourself, like interests, a little like one to two minute, maybe introducing like who you are as a person, showing them your personality. And then they also give you maybe 30 or 45 seconds of a dance. And then you submit that. And then maybe two or three weeks later, they'll let, they'll let you know who the 20 finalists are. I have a follow-up question on that. So I was actually there watching. It was an amazing show. And I heard you say, I think your quote was like talking about like the inner talent within, I believe, rather than like the outer beauty. Is that correct? Was that like part of your quote that you said at the? At the, in my video? like in Yeah, my yeah, video. in your video. Yeah. I was just wondering like, what, um, why do you choose the song that you did? And why do you, I guess, choose the quote that you did? I chose that song because originally my vocal teacher gave me that song and she said it would be a good song for me to perform and it would sound good in my, in my um, voice. But once I dug deeper into who Fanny Bryce is, which is the character that I played, I realized that she has a lot of traits that I aim to have or already have already. And it's just about staying focused and staying true to who you are. I know usually as an African-American girl, it can be hard in the musical theater business. So it's like Fanny Bryce, even though she wasn't seen as like the regular girl who would be seen on Broadway, she still stayed focused and she still maintained, like, I'm a star and you're going to see me. So I think that's what really connected me to the song is I want to be seen and no matter what, I know I have a gift. I love that message. <laughs> so Leo was telling me a little bit about afterwards what happened a little bit on because I wasn't able to actually watch um, what happened mm -hmm. myself. But how how are you like planning to celebrate what happened and how did how did they celebrate for you or with you during the actual show afterwards we went straight into interviews with broadway world and then me and joshua which is the other person that i won with which i love him a lot <laughs> we went and we like saw our family and it was just it was just like a unreal moment it was just like we're walking down. We really just won this. I don't think we really processed that we won until we got home. Or I really didn't process it until like the next day. I think just in that moment, we were just like cheering. Everyone was just cheering. Like that's just the, everyone was just cheering and like happy. Yeah. So as part of winning, you get like a paid trip to New York, right? And you get to attend the Jimmy Awards. So can you talk a little bit about about the Jimmy Awards, like what you're looking forward to about going, what you're excited about and like what it is. So the Jimmy Awards is fairly similar to the Triangle Rising Stars, but instead of it being in the Triangle area, it takes all the two best actress and actors from around the state and they all come and compete for the Jimmy Awards to be named the best actor or actress, I think, worldwide. We go down there maybe, I think we go down there for 10 days in New York and we work with like Broadway artists, we do workshops, master classes, and we do similar things to TRS, but it's it's just on a different scale, on a higher scale. I'm mostly excited about meeting the people, also meeting like the working with my vocal coach and um, meeting like the Broadway artists as well. Sounds like it's going to be an awesome trip to 
just meet more people. I you mentioned like make creating a family with TRS, but it sounds like this is another opportunity to keep building that family. Have you been to New York before, been to Broadway before, or is this a first time for you? I've gone to New York for family, but Broadway and show wise, this is my first time going to New York. Will you be able to see any shows when you're there or? Yes, yeah. I do think they are letting us see a show. I don't think they've told us what show yet, but. That'll be exciting. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, what advice would you give to younger kids that are aspiring to go into the arts or become a Triangle uh, Rising Star? For children who are inspiring to go into the arts, I think my main thing to say is never compare yourself to others. Each person has their own individual gift. No one is alike. Everyone is unique in their own way. And I think with the arts, it allows every person to be unique and every person to be praised or congratulated for their uniqueness. People that want to do Triangle Rising Stars next year, I definitely, I say do it, 100% do it. If you're into musical theater or just dancing or you like singing on the side, anything. I definitely recommend doing Triangle Rising Stars. It's more than just a competition. It's a chance for you to build connections with other people that love and enjoy to do the same thing as you. So I definitely encourage it. I totally agree. The arts offer so many opportunities to so many different people. And it's just such a great form of self-expression. I just realized I forgot to ask uh, one of our questions. This will be the last one. Obviously, your voice is so amazing. So how did you get to the level uh, that your voice is right now? And what was that process like? I started singing when I was two. I started vo- voice lessons at five with her name is Miss Rosalind. I worked with her for maybe six to seven years. And then after that, I went on to do pre-professional training which is with the um, NC Conservatory in Raleigh. And so I've just been building on my voice, maintaining, staying in, doing singing at church or Durham Bulls games or voice lessons. That's awesome to have been doing something for like most of your life and still (laughs) love to do it. That's it. I just want to thank you guys for taking out the time. No, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Of course. Thank you guys so much. Of Thank course. you. We hope you have a great time in New York. <laughs> good luck. Yes. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.